Okay, so we're at Bassenthwaite for the Graduate Northerns. A mixture of weather, sunny, rainy, quite rainy, sunny, windy. You can see it's quite rainy. And a bit of wind as well, sometimes. Not always. We start with race one. There was a delay because of the held up with the lack of wind and people getting stuck on the M6. And off we went. Early lead held by the Flickcrofts, Shane's Tard, by the Thorpes. Got through at the jive mark. Lead chasing. Beautiful conditions for this race to begin with. And then gradually the wind eased and it became a bit of a drift. The Murrells managed to just ease their way through. See the flick cross in the distance there. The wind flicked around all over the place. Now it's coming from the east. Gradually dying. And it's a real, really slow run. And the race committee decided that it was time to call it a day. Shorten the course. And the Murrells and the Flickcrofts decided to go on to port. And unfortunately, there was a bit of an incident here with a, a GP. The Murrells had to do a 720 penalty turn, which allowed the Flickcrofts to get through the line to record the first win of the weekend. Due to the delay on the Saturday, race two was postponed until Sunday morning and the race committee slotted it in first thing when we started early. We were joined by the full complement of graduates, uh, Chris Parker and Chloe joined us on the start line. Plenty more wind. The Flickcrofts revelled in this breeze in the morning. Greg Thomas also enjoyed the conditions. These are just short clips but the beat took nearly 15 minutes which is a, a whole lap at Chipstead so we're getting a bit tired, often tacking just because we were tired. But we had to keep a lookout for other boats because there were fast fleets approaching and unfortunately here Chris and Terry got caught between a very fast bar ball and the slower 2.4 and really suffered. David Irving's going well with Alexis, his crew. Some exciting conditions, some planing. Other boats also enjoying the conditions are having to keep out of their way as well. Because it was slotted in, this second race is quite short, we just did one lap. The two leading boats, the Flickcrofts and Greg and Abby, maintained their leads with the Flickcroft parading at the line to record their second win of the, the series. Having had a quick pit stop right for the third race, winds died a little bit. Miles have got caught on the committee boat end of the line and were forced to jog around, putting them at the back of the fleet. Rather than following everybody else, they elected to tap on the port and managed to get a nice lift, which got them up past most of the fleet, trading a few tacks on the way, catching the Flickcrofts and then Greg and Abby making their way nicely through the fleet, past the Parkers. Nice lift down the southern part of the lake on the west side, managing to get to the windward mark first. Same course that we had in the morning. Wind continues to die a little bit, We're making our way back up down the lake. For the second lap, catching up the slower solos. 
managing to maintain a healthy lead. And correctly taking the gun. This, so that's all to play for. The Flitcrofts that got got two firsts and fourth, the Murrells a second, a fourth and a first. So it could all change on the final race depending on who wins that one. Following the lunch break the crews assembled on the start line for the last race of the series in the afternoon. The wind had eased even more. Uh, the Murrells opted for a start at the pin end. became a fight between the Parkers and the Murrells for the lead of this final race. The Parkers got the better of the attacking and managed to pull very well clear. The lead that they weren't going to relinquish, giving them their win of the series. It remained very tight with the Fleckrofts in fourth place, which wouldn't give them the series, but they fought their way through, past the Thorpes, hanging on to the tails of the Murrells. Third place would give them the championship, but they were hard pressed by Greg, right up to the last. came home to take second place. The Flipcrofts managing to stay ahead of Greg and Abby to take third place and the overall win of the championships. We'd like to thank Bassenthwaite Sailing Club for hosting the Graduate Northerns. Hope to see everybody next year. <laughs>